from slide nerd this is weaves welcome to this tutorial guys where i'm gonna be taking the method 2 or the hard way of doing things now as i said in the last bit i made a very easy way of finding the reverse now this is gonna be the traditional and the hard way so let's see how the output looks it's pretty much the same you have 1 2 8 4 4 8 2 1 is the reverse so let's see how that's done there's something pretty interesting about numbers and you guys definitely did this in your mathematics take a number 1 2 3 4 probably return something like this 1 into 1000 2 into 100 3 into 10 and 4 into 1 right and this is more like this it's 1 into 10 raised to 3 2 into 10 square 3 into 10 raised to 1 4 into 10 raised to 0 so what happens as you guys can see is there are digits that is 4 3 2 1 that are your digits right and you have this tens coming up so we need to find a way to remove the tens so what we do is we do something like this we divide by 10 and we take the remainder to remove the tens out so we get 4 check it out this 4 is also the last digit now if we divide the number by 10 we get 1 2 3 now you guys are probably asking why don't we get 1 2 3.4 remember 1 2 3 4 is an integer 10 is an integer integer divided by integer is a number without decimal points in java you know that very well next again go one step take this 1 2 3 take the remainder with 10 this time you guys will notice that you get 3 over here again take 1 2 3 and divide that by 10 you get 1 2 now you guys are probably thinking what the hell is going on nothing we are taking the number we are taking the remainder with 10 each time and we are dividing the number by 10 each time next you have 12 take the remainder with 10 you get 2 and last but not the least 12 by 10 again it's gonna give you 1 and over here I'm gonna take 1 take the remainder with 10 now any number smaller than something taken a remainder it's gonna give you the same number 1 person 10 is gonna be 1 and if you say 1 by 10 now this is a tricky part it's gonna be 0 in Java because there is no decimal point in the integer right it's gonna be a plain 0 so in short what are we trying to do we need these digits 4 3 2 1 so that we can print them out in the reverse order and say that this is the reverse of a number right to get the digits every time we take the modulus with 10 and we divide the number by 10 so that we can get the next digit like you got 4 first then you want 3 then you want 2 then you want 1 so to get the next digit you have to do the same thing so you divide by 10 so at this point what happens is something like this this is the point where you stop 1 by 10 is 0 that means you can't divide further or you're not gonna take any remainders further right so this is the condition to get the digit you take the number mod by 10 you're gonna, gonna get the last digit out of that and each time you do this each time you do this you make sure that number not equals to zero right because this is the place where you stop when number is zero that's done bam you're over while number not equals to zero keep dividing i mean taking the remainder by 10 storing that in digit make number is number by 10 that's exactly the steps which we did here number by 10 store that in number because you see one two three goes here this 1 2 3 becomes 12 this 12 goes here so we need to store this number by 10 inside the number so let's go ahead get this up and running and see how this works so here in NetBeans I have an empty project I'm gonna ask the user input there's a buffered reader and there's a println statement which is enter the number and it's gonna be integer or percent I'm sure you guys know what it means by now so let's go ahead we'll make a variable called temp store this number inside that and we'll say while temp not equals 0 simply divide by 10 and this is gonna give the digit right so we're gonna have we'll say system dot out dot print we'll simply print this out directly this is gonna directly print the digit and every time we say temp equals to temp divide by 10 all right so let's see how this goes I'll put a system dot out dot print ln at statement at the end for a new line all right we are done let's say control s shift f6 enter the number say one two three four 
as you guys can see 4321 is coming we are done with this program it's pretty simple right so now I'm gonna find the sum of digits of the reverse number now if you guys remember how to find the sum we always have something which says zero at the start and we keep adding stuff right inside the loop so let's go ahead and see how that's done you have one two three four percent ten which is four right now we need to add these digits up so we see a digit is number percent ten we store this thing inside a digit we have something called sum equals to zero before the while loop we have this variable called sum is zero then we add four to the sum so it becomes zero plus four then now sum becomes four all right that means the zero plus four is stored inside the sum so again now it becomes four plus three then four plus three plus two then four plus three plus two plus one that's exactly what we do right so this is exactly how it looks so we say sum is sum plus digit and short to find the sum of digits so let's go back to that means get this sum of digits stuff and we are done so let's go and uh, say sum equals to zero right now this print statement we're gonna remove this int digit is 10 percent 10 same thing I'm just storing it inside a variable called digit and I'm gonna add this digit to the sum and in the end we can already go and print the sum by saying a new line and we say sum and we also print the digits over here we'll say system dot we'll say system dot 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 print digit control s shift f6 1 2 3 4 4 3 2 1 1 plus 2 3 plus 3 6 plus 4 10 all right it's working so i hope you guys understood something out of this it's a pretty simple program if you guys like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know what you think and keep watching I hope I I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later. Have a nice day.